especially for users who are watching the iPhone 14 series, as well as the old users holding the Mate 40 series and P40 series. I hope that after watching this Mate 50 Pro in-depth review, there will be an answer in their hearts on how to choose. Of course, I also completed this video from the perspective of a Mate 40 RS Porsche user. There are also some personal points of view. I hope to provide you with a reference. Without further ado, let's take a look at how the Huawei Mate 50 Pro feels to me after using it for a few days. After the release of the Mate 50 series, there are various voices on the internet. In terms of appearance, there are some who appreciate it, and some who criticize it. In fact, whether it is praise or criticism, it is a good thing, indicating that the popularity of this product is high enough. From a product point of view, the appearance of the Mate 50 series continues the genes of the Mate series, and compared to the previous generation of the Mate 40 series, it is still highly recognizable. As for common glass, the drop resistance of the whole phone is increased by 10 times, which actually gives consumers a good sense of security, which is very consistent with the law of I can't use it, but you can't live without it. Moreover, the glass version is only 200 yuan more expensive than the ordinary version. No matter how you choose the common glass version, it is a surefire business. Although I have not actually tested how resistant the common glass version is, there are already many test videos on the internet, such as directly dropping or smashing walnuts, and common glass has withstood the test. On some previous products, such as the collector's edition of the Huawei P50 series, Huawei launched nano ceramic glass, which was five times more resistant to drop at that time, and now common glass is more like an evolution of nano ceramic glass. The drop resistance is further improved. After this, we should see the application of Kumlin Glass on the P series. On another level, Kumlin Glass made its debut on the MAT50 series, which further strengthened the product power of this generation of products. For example, with satellite communication, emergency mode, IP68 dust and water resistance, higher than the industry standard, 6 meters water resistance, it even has the potential to replace the 3-proof phone. On the front of the phone, Huawei Mate 50 Pro is equipped with a 6.74-inch 1.07 billion color 120Hz OLED screen, which complements the 120Hz high brush and color depth configuration of the previous generation product, and is matched with 1440Hz high frequency PWM dimming to effectively reduce flicker. The daily use experience is very good. In addition to the screen quality, there are actually quite a few friends who are paying attention to the bangs this time. Why choose bangs instead of using the slotted screen of Mate 40 Pro? I believe the reasons behind this are complicated. For consumers who have not yet started, the first thing they may see is that the screen has changed to bangs. After using it, you will also find that the air gesture function, which was more popular in the previous generation of products, is not currently supported. Before the debut of the Huawei Mate 50 series, Huawei released the Huawei Image X M8 G in a high-profile manner, which made many people look forward to this, and also became more curious about the imaging capabilities of the Mate 50 series. The same is true for me. In the past few years, I have seen the flourishing cooperation between Huawei and Leica, and the imaging capabilities have continued to improve. Naturally, I am also curious about this MAT50 series. Now I will take you to see what kind of performance the image of Mate 50 Pro is. First of all, let's feel the most intuitive XMAG style. You can switch between different XMAG styles through the style switching button at the top. XMAG styles are divided into three types. Primary colors, bright colors, and bright colors. In daily use, we can freely switch between three different XMAG styles, and there will be unexpected effects in different scenes, which depends on everyone's preferences. Moreover, I believe that everyone has also seen the watermark of Mate 50 Pro, which is very recognizable and looks full of advanced senses. Of course, it has two optional watermarks, the other one can be seen in the follow-up proofs. In addition to the XMAG style, the variable aperture that everyone is most concerned about should be the variable aperture, which is actually developed for the main camera. We can even see the size adjustment of the aperture with the naked eye, which is very shocking. In automatic mode, Huawei Mate 50 Pro has a 4-speed smart aperture, which can intelligently match the aperture size according to different scenes, which is also used by most consumers when taking pictures every day. In professional mode, Huawei Mate 50 Pro can achieve 10-speed adjustment. Another question is, though many phone cameras have a large aperture mode, isn't this the same as the variable aperture of the Mate 50 series? Indeed, this is easy to misunderstand, and Huawei Mate 50 Pro has not avoided this problem, but made a novel appearance in the large aperture mode, distinguishing the traditional virtual aperture adding an exclusive physical aperture, and both can be adjusted manually. Huawei also explained that the virtual aperture is a fusion of software algorithms and physical aperture capabilities, which can blur the background and highlight the subject. It is recommended that the camera and the subject should not exceed 2 meters. The physical aperture can directly adjust the lens aperture to obtain a physical level fine blur effect. In addition to bringing the industry's largest f1.4 aperture, the 50 megapixel super light variable main camera of Mate 50 Pro also uses Huawei's self-developed filter 
Master Array, which greatly improves the amount of light entering it. It is also understandable why Huawei named the imaging system of the Mate 50 series, Super Light Variable Imaging System this time, which is actually the art of light. In this way, Huawei Mate 50 Pro is still capable of shooting in low light. If you like to take pictures at night, then Mate 50 Pro is worth a try. In addition to the main camera, it is worth mentioning that this wide-angle macro lens can take not only wide-angle photos, but also 2.5cm super macro photos, allowing you to explore interesting macroscopic worlds. In the super macro mode, we can switch the zoom effect of wide angle, 1x, 3.5x, 10x, up to 15x, so as to bring different shooting effects. Thanks to this, using Mate 50 Pro, we can also see the screen arrangement of other products, which is a bit like the microscope function of some previous products. And in order to make it easier to accurately find the subject when shooting, the Mate 50 Pro also added a macro viewfinder, which is really convenient to use. I also found an interesting thing when shooting a telephoto. When we zoom to 100x, the viewfinder will display a small sign of a tripod, and you can turn on the jump level anti-shake with a click. After it is turned on, the anti-shake ability will be further improved, which will double the user's favor when taking pictures with 100x. Although 100x is not usually used in many scenes, it can be stable enough at critical moments, such as taking pictures of the moon. In the consumer field, everyone is relatively unfamiliar with satellite communication. The introduction of satellite communication to phones by Huawei Mate 50 series can be said to have aroused the attention of a large number of consumers. Huawei Mate 50 series has also become the world's first mass smartphone that supports Bidu satellite communication messages. The satellite communication of Huawei Mate 50 series can be used in urban ground, virgin forest and other scenarios, and the usage scenarios are relatively wide. For the receiving end, it does not need to be a Huawei phone, nor does it need to install the Changlin app. The ground station will convert satellite messages into ordinary text messages, and ordinary phones can also receive satellite messages from the Mate 50 series. After the message is sent successfully, a satellite receipt will be displayed. Another black technology is the emergency mode, which also attracted the attention of consumers before the release. Let's look at the experience level first. It is similar to Huawei's previous superpower saving interface. The entire interface becomes black, and several applications that need to be used can be added to solve the urgent need. The emergency mode of the Mate 50 series supports emergency operations such as talking for 12 minutes, or flashing the code 10 times or scanning the code 4 times. Technically, the emergency mode uses the energy accumulating pump technology to intelligently aggregate the residual power of the phone battery, and automatically turns on the function when the battery is low at 1%, and does not require the user to manually operate. From the release of the first Mate in 2013, to the date view of the Mate 50 series in 2022, the 10 years of the Huawei Mate series have not only witnessed the development of the industry, but also led to the continuous breakthrough of smartphones with innovative technology. From a small point of view, the Mate series helps Huawei to hit the high-end market, allowing global users to recognize the Huawei brand. To a large degree, the Huawei Mate series has become a representative work of domestic high-end, in the face of international manufacturers such as Apple and Samsung. At that time, domestic brands represented by Huawei had the courage and strength to wrestle their arms. But after 2019, due to well-known reasons, not only the Mate series, but also the brand, Huawei is facing difficulties. In the past few years, Huawei's thousands of troops have always used the perseverance and unswerving investment in scientific research to continuously charge the technical bottleneck. Breakthroughs are a matter of time. Just like the phrase crossing the mountains and seas, and finally seeing the dawn at the Mate 50 series conference, Huawei has not only waded in the deep sea, but also climbed the mountains. Now Huawei is at the moment of break of dawn, and the dawn is in sight. Let us look forward to the return of the next generation of products with Kirin and the reappearance of 5G. Thank you for viewing this review. 